Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to create a mesh library, which is a really easy way to create world environments. Um, it's probably the best way to do it, but um, I don't think it's very well known in the Godot community how to do it, how to do it, um, at least from my looking over the tutorials and help guides. So what you're going to want to do is first you want to create a new scene and you're going to go ahead and look for a uh, a mesh instance right here, right? So you're gonna want to add a mesh instance, you're gonna want to add a static body, and you're gonna want to add lastly a flipping shape. Now you're gonna want to find some sort of um, objects that you're gonna want to add, right? So this is modular dungeons um, that I found um, by this person right here off of uh, free or opengameart.com. Um, so this will be my example. And you see here it has both the objects and the materials. So what you're going to do is you're going to bring both these into the Godot system. We don't want to just click and drag it. <clears throat> Otherwise, for some reason, Godot won't register the material and the object will just be all white. So what you're going to want to do is just open up the uh, show and file manager. So you want to bring this up right here. And then you're just going to go ahead and select all the items you want, which are all these. And we'll just drag and bring them in. Boom. So we brought all these in. Give it a second, it's gonna load all of them in. And once they're all loaded, we will now have all these items, right? So if we wanna bring in our barrel, there is our barrel. Whoops, don't wanna do it like that. What we wanna do is we wanna go to our mesh instance and we want to bring our barrel up to this corner right here where it says mesh. Boom, and this is our mesh right here. And then we're gonna to wanna to add a collision shape to it. So we'll just do a box shape and we'll just change it to uh, 0.5, 0.5. 5, something like this, kind of bring it up, and this will be our collision shape for it. And if we want to add more items, um, all we have to do is just duplicate this here, and it instantly re uh, recreates the exact same thing for us. So we'll call this first one barrel, and the second one, um, we'll create some other object here. So we'll use like a candle, and we'll uh, bring it over to the mesh, and it's invisible right now because it's in the barrel, and there's our candle right there and the collision shape is that's that'll be fine for this so now that we have this we will go ahead and uh, we will convert it to a mesh library right so uh, we'll just call this one world stuff and you want to make sure it has dot mesh lib as seen over here and we will go ahead and save it boom and so then we can actually save the scene itself let's call it test uh, one Nice, so now we have these as our mesh um, objects, and if you really wanted to, you do this for every object here, and so you'd have this big library. But now to actually use our library, all we have to do is go to a new scene, 3D scene, and then we go and use grid map right here. And then we just add this mesh library that we just created, worldstuff.lib, and boom, we have this uh, library right here. And so every one of those items will be popping up and you can kind of place them where you want. Um, as you can see, it's pretty choppy right now. So you can actually change it um, to kind of make it so that it slides more so correctly. I personally like to use it really small. I use like 0.2, um, just so you can get stuff really close and precise how you want it. So if you want to place these barrels, we can. If you want to place these candles, we can. And this obviously works very well with um, obviously floors and walls, right? So one cool thing you can do is actually change um, the different axes and stuff, um, but I'll show that in another video. I just want to do a really quick tutorial on how to actually import the objects themselves. Um, so thanks for watching, and I'll do another little video on how to kind of use this editor.